we started developing this technology almost two years or three years ago. Yeah. So now recently we have published a paper out, and then now people like it. So we started this kind of collaboration with Sony. We just wanted to, uh, you know, edit the, you know, the reality of the people that and the, because there's some kind of experiment, uh, uh, research which we can do only when we can, you know, make them believe the things they are experiencing are happening, really. And uh, so that initial intention is to how to uh, make them believe what the uh, the event, you know, with, with TV monitors, you know, they, they know that's fake. That's not happening here. But I want them to believe that. Like uh, when you are in dream, uh, you believe the thing is going on, really, right? And there's some kind of special mental uh, processing uh, when you believe the things are really happening. When the people wearing this device, they look outside through this camera. So then people believe, oh, this is reality. Then after that, we covertly switch to the past scene, which was taken by panoramic camera. So by adjusting the quality of the picture between the uh, present reality and past reality, people cannot discriminate which is what. So then we can switch past and uh, present reality back and forth. Then now we succeeded the reality manipulation. So the basic idea to uh, make the quality of the live scenes and the recorded scene identical. You know, we are not really trying to uh, make this kind of virtual reality, make it really real, like to, to simulate this uh, real world. We just want them to at the same level. That, and then we can make them in the past scenes without noticing that, like in the, some uh, sci-fi movies, right? One secret why we succeeded this was maybe we uh, lower the quality of rea reality to the video quality. So then the gap between reality and the recorded one is getting smaller and smaller, then people tend to believe it. We have to hack both sensory, the vision and the hearing. Yes. But once we uh, hack both, it's very easy to substitute the reality. Well, presence is of course important, but for this trick, even if the quality is lower, we can make them, you know, to experience uh, record alternative reality as real. Our direction is different from the other virtual reality people. First thing we make them believe this is reality, then we manipulate. But uh, virtual reality, uh, people first doubt, then try to get back their reality. So that's what he mentioned, that direction of the development is totally opposite. We have just started the collaboration with Sony. So the product here is just a prototype. We don't have any realistic project uh, for future, uh, as a future product. But hoping since you guys like it and just send message to Sony. So I hope it's gonna be come out. I don't think this device will replace TV or those other devices, but we just opened a new field to interact with actually the virtual stuff or computer as a computer interface. So this technology might be useful for us as a natural interface. So maybe if we subtract the background uh, from the recorded image, then we can play at home. If you record your happiest moment, like wedding or some very nice ceremony, and if you record it as a panoramic video, and you can re-experience it easily afterwards. Like, if you ask your mother, how was your wedding? Then you can jump into them and look around it. That's really great. So I'm hoping that kind of technology, uh, this kind of technology will be used in that way.